What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing another Rad Movie Review today and today we're going to be talking about Undercover Punch and Gun. It's a foreign martial arts film that I caught on Haya streaming service so if you guys want to talk about it, stick around. This is going to be a non-spoiler review. Roll it. Undercover Punch and Gun is a new action-packed cop thriller like martial arts film. It's kind of like a really good little short snippet story, but I like it. And it's about two cops who are undercover. With, they, they don't know they're undercover, and they kind of have to form an alliance to take down this massive drug lord boss. And he also does like sex trafficking, a bunch of evil stuff. So let's talk about some of the positives of this movie. <laughs> Right off, our main characters like Van S. Wu, he plays one of our characters, and then I think Philip Yang, I'm sorry if I butchered that last name, but those two guys, they have such a great chemistry on screen, and I really did like their bond of kind of like, almost like they're forced to work together, but just the way that it plays out, it's very kind of like comical, and I like that, it has like kind of like that buddy cop feel, almost like lethal weapon type status, you know? Two completely different characters, but they have to form a bond to tackle a similar villain. Also, I really did like the score music and the soundtrack. It was very, like, kind of jazzy, cowboy bebop style, like anime style, you know, like saxophones and, like, really hip, like, cool, fast music, you know, very jazzy, very, like, flying off the handle, made the fight scenes and a lot of the, like, just talking scenes really cool because, like I said, it had that good, like, detective story aspect of that classic old school style music. And we do get, like, if you're an action junkie, you get, like, hand-to-hand -hand fight combats. You get gun battles in this, like, a really cool sniper battle, too. There's a really dope sniper battle in this one, too. We also get knife fights. Like, so this movie does really offer you every kind of, like, style of fighting that you want as, like, an action junkie. You know what I mean? If you like hand-to-hand -hand combat, knives, guns, all that stuff's in this film. And I actually had a fun time with the story in this film. Like I said, it's a very simple story. This film's about an hour and a half, so it's got a really good fast pace. It's not gonna demand you to sit on the couch for a long time, but I really did like the story. It's intriguing, like, you know, these two undercover cops working together to fight, like their main villain, Andy On, he's amazing. Like, he's a really good charismatic actor. He's probably the best actor in this film. I thought his villain, like he, the way he played it out was so simple really good and like his his fighting is really top-notch as well so let's get down to talking about some of the negatives of this movie and right off the bat some of the negatives if like I like the action it's very action-packed and there's a lot of fight sequences but some of the choreography and some of the fight scenes it kind of seems like very very rehearsed like you know you can tell that the actor and the other actor like they're the stuntman they're like kind of dancing timing each other reading each other so some of the scenes are like that where it's like you can tell it's just very staged choreographed type fighting so I wanted a little bit more hardcore fighting like more in your face like breaking stuff bones snapping stuff like that and also there is some comical moments in this film that do land there are comical things that really do land especially Van S. Wu his character is amazing but there's other comical moments that kind of take away from some of the scenes or there's just certain things like certain choices with shots and like people looking at each other and certain things but of course this is an eastern made film you know this was released in Hong Kong so their style of filming is a lot different from western style of filming but there were just some moments where it kind of like it took me out of it a little bit but not too too much but overall in my book I had a really good time with this film it's definitely one that I would recommend for sure like I said it's on high ya streaming service in my book for the rad rating undercover punch and guns gonna get a 7 out of 10 it's still like I said quite an enjoyable watch the story is gonna grab you it's very fast-paced and I like the way that it's just it's action-packed throughout the whole thing and that music the score music in it I think that's really good stuff I like that old-school jazzy type feel to it Thanks for sticking around with me all for another rad movie review. Definitely leave a like and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the content that I put out. I keep putting out content as much as I can, so stick to the channel. That way you can check it out. I got some other stuff coming up. Candyman ranking and Rick and Morty episode, I think, 7 of season 5 dropped. So I'll be dropping my review for that too. So stay tuned. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.